Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. We love to see meet new people. And if it's not, welcome back. Food shortages are here, folks. Believe me, don't believe me, that's up to you. But food shortages are here. Do you know, for the last two weeks, Hannah hasn't been able to get milk. She hasn't been able to get butter or cheese, tin tomatoes. She couldn't get chicken. She couldn't get beef mints. She couldn't get eggs. But milk, folks, just fresh, plain bottles of milk has been unavailable. Now, she lives in a sizable town with all three major supermarkets and a couple of independents and a good butcher or two and a couple of really good greengrocers. And she could not get those basic food items. They are unavailable. That, my friends, is a food shortage. And no, you didn't see it on the news. Why? Well, because mainstream media only report what they're told to report, the way they are told to report it. I'm pretty sure there is no independent MSM news in Australia. Now, again, believe me, don't believe me. Do your own research. Do your own investigating. What caused the shortage? Who knows? It depends on who you listen to and who you watch. Some say it's delivery issues. Some say it's because we can't get things from overseas due to that thing that should not be named. Some will tell you it's a supply issue. Some will say there aren't enough pickers to pick so the harvest is smaller. Some will tell you it's the drought and there's not enough cattle or sheep or poultry. Some will tell you it's a problem at the abattoirs or at the um, processing plant. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The food shortages are here. Personally, I think it's just a combination of all of these situations. It doesn't really matter what the cause is. What matters is that there is shortages happening. And they're happening all over the country. In capital cities, they're happening in regional cities, they're happening in small country towns. Just because you aren't seeing them where you are doesn't mean they aren't happening. So keep that pantry stocked. Keeping a full pantry isn't hoarding. It isn't panic buying. It isn't being greedy. It is just plain common sense. As you run out of something, add it to the shopping list. Even if you're not going to need it for a while, add it to the shopping list and get it next time you go to the store. Keep your eyes open for sales and specials and take advantage. Our news last week was all about not being able to get the ham or the chicken or the turkey or the seafood for Christmas. There'd be shortages. Now, I asked my butcher about this and his comment to me was, if I want it for Christmas and see it now, get it now. It may not be available in two and a half months. And if it is, it is going to be considerably more expensive. So stop worrying about what others think of you and your trolley contents and what you have in your pantry and just keep it full. When your children are crying from hunger, you won't be worrying about what others think about your last shopping trip or how big your pantry is. You'll be feeling bad because you didn't take the opportunity to plan for the future and build that pantry when you had it. If that scares you, think about why it scares you. Because if your pantry is full, it shouldn't scare you. If there are gaps in your pantry, it will. Act on it. Don't just sit there and twiddle your thumbs. Right now in Australia, you have opportunities to build your pantry there aren't any limits on anything that i have found at the moment everything's perfectly normal if you can get it 
that could change at any time. So when you're grocery shopping, think ahead to what you'll need in a week, what you'll need in a month, what you'll need in six months, what you'll need in a year or even two years. And if you have the cash in your budget, get as much of what you need as you can. Then get a little bit more. Why? Because at some stage, you will be expected to care for more than just your family. I've had friends, extended family, even neighbours and distant acquaintances tell me that when the shell hits the fan, they're going to come and live at our house. Now, I know some of you have had the same comments and recently too. Well, let me tell you, if you aren't prepared to do something to take care of yourself, if you're too blind to see what is happening around you, if you have such an attitude of privilege that you believe that I or someone else will save you, well, you need to stop and you need to think again. You are responsible for you, not me, not Joy, not your sister or your cousin or your next door neighbour and not your government. You are responsible for you. So if you want to knock on my door and see me extend a helping hand, you have to first show me that you have tried to take care of you and yours yourself. Now, if you're offended by that, so be it. You are not my responsibility at all. Irrespective of what you think, I do not have to work hard and go without things to support you. You take care of you. So build your pantry. Be smart about it. If you see a gap, fill it. There are still some specials and sales and some things. Use them to fill that pantry. At the very least, you'll be saving some money. At best, you'll have a full pantry so that it's ready to feed you and yours in a crisis. Prices, mm, prices aren't going to get lower. We may never get back to what we were in February 2020. So take a look around you, think about your needs and fill that pantry. Become as self-sufficient as you possibly can be. You'll have food security and that's a good thing at any time. But right now it's invaluable. Fill your pantry. And fill it now. If you like our channel, please give us a thumbs up. If you're not already supply, um, subscribed, please do click the bell icon and we'll notify you every time a new video goes up, every time we go live. If you know someone who might um, appreciate this video or who might like our channel, please use the share button. It sends them a link. We don't harass them. That's all they get. Then it's entirely up to them. If they want to do that, they can um, click the link and watch the show. Have a great day, everyone. Happy cheap skating. And I'll see you on the next video.